the young india fellowship is really the flagship the the flag bearer of ashoka university uh, when we started the program the idea was that in one year we would put in the entire essence of what ashoka was to be about in fact we are going to use the one year fellowship program to create the ultimate dna of ashoka and so we packed a lot into the program what we brought in the best of what ashoka was going to be into that one year and it was the success of the young india fellowship that ultimately led to the huge reputation that grew over time for ashoka on the back of which we launched the undergrad program uh, at this point in time uh, we have more than a thousand alums uh, yf will soon be in, it, be in its 10th year and these alums are doing amazing uh, work around the world uh, a lot of them are using the young india fellowship to go into disciplines that they had never thought they would be able to uh, study further in uh, so if you look at the top schools around the world if you look at oxford and cambridge if you look at harvard stanford chicago uh, pen and the top ivies uh, at mit you will find that young india fellows are everywhere in every school whether it is to study business or to study public policy uh, or to study uh, history or philosophy or psychology uh, you have people uh, across the board studying in all these programs you also have young india fellows studying in, uh, in uh, working in some of the best corporations around the world which are really aspirational uh, whether it's a, a a consulting firm like a mckinsey or a bain or a bcg or it is the new internet firms like a google or a facebook uh, you have young india fellows again working in the best of companies uh, you have young india fellows working in some of the top ngos and and international organizations uh, from the world bank to un organizations uh, right down to jpal uh, where abhijit panaji and esther duflo just won the nobel prize what is most amazing though is that a large number of our young india fellows actually turn entrepreneurs and they've set up their own ngos and their own companies so if you look broadly across sectors and functions our fellows are everywhere the fellowship by all uh, accounts has done really well and uh, but we don't stop uh, we are restless we we want to build on the strengths the strength of the fellowship is that it's a transformative experience how do we make it even more transformative we are constantly working on that the other thing we found is that the fellowship helps people transition from what they were doing before to a whole new set of possibilities and now we have realized that you know if we can prepare them for these set of possibilities better uh, then that would make the program even stronger and that's the other area that we are working on and i'm very excited about uh, the fact that the fellowship continues to go from strength to strength uh, as it enters its 10th year